nowhere else in the ACT that's probably so process oriented in terms of the need to have a process working 24 hours a day, seven days a week at top performance. No day is the same, there's always something interesting going on. The water arrives at Lower Malonglo. The first objective is to physically remove material from the water, which will settle out either by screening or by settlement, settling the material out in quiet flow conditions. So once we've been through the, the settling stage, or the initial treatment stage, we go on to a biological treatment stage where we're using naturally occurring bacteria, flora and fauna, in very positive oxygen rich environment. We're pumping a lot of air into the water to, to oxygenate it. They're like humans, they like to breathe the oxygen and then they consume the biological matter and then they can convert the ammonia, which um, will kill fish, into a nitrate, which is a less harmful form of nitrogen. We then got a stage which is, um, again, where we try to remove phosphorus. That's where we add specific chemicals uh, which are related with iron, ferric hydroxide and ferric chloride to the water to precipitate out phosphorus uh, as an inert material. The final stage which is filtration, which is exactly the same process as we use in water treatment, uh, is where we filter the, the water through fine sand and coal and that basically removes any very fine particulate material before we then chlorinate that material to kill off any bacteria we dechlorinate it so we don't kill the bacteria in the river and then we release that water to the environment.